Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, March 6, 2024. So we did see the bulls bounce right back. It's uh, pretty much the same trading uh, as usual. Uh, and what I had put in the morning notes was this, was that if, you know, the, the bears are going to really try and let's say make a trending move down the the first really area that they had to hold down was going to be the 5003 level but i'm sorry 5092 uh and if they got above that which you can see they gapped above it the next resistance was going to be right at the 5112 where you can see we made a little bit above that drop back down and then we got through this and what was the third target it was this gap right here at the 5128 pretty much right where we went and then we saw selling so we're still stuck within this little range right here and i i personally think it's going to be wait there until friday i mean we, we could have a move that you know kind of goes down or up a little bit uh tomorrow i i don't think it's going to be anything crazy i think a lot of people are going to be waiting for the non-farm payrolls now just kind of thinking if they're going to say try and trap some people what i would think they were going to do if we're you know if we're in say a little bit of a trending day and we're coming up because we're at the 5107 uh this is at 5129 was the high so if we let's say we, we just kind of go not this type of move but we kind of go sideways and drift up here i i think any bear that's out there is going to cover going into the non-farm payrolls because they're going to say that it's been leaked out and that we're you know they're going to be really good and we're going to blast through this which very well may happen or what would be the one that would trap a lot of people is that we drift up here close in this area now you got all the bull you got the bears that are that are covering up here you got the bulls that are buying all with the same mentality that the non-farm payrolls are going to come in and we're going to juice this market higher and they come in bad or the market doesn't like it and we head down because the reason why i'm just throwing that out and this is just in my head i'm not i don't have any proof or anything but i always know that mr market likes to trap as many people as possible and on this one if they did that there's not going to be any bears up here that's going to be able to uh let's say make gains on the drop because they're going to cover saying you know we've been through this the last uh five six months or four months whatever it's been you know i've learned my lesson i'm not going to you know live through this again and they're out and all the bulls are saying i know how this goes and they're in there and if they drop it that's where they're going to trap trap the most people. Now, again, I, I have absolutely no idea if that's going to play out like that. I'm just saying that would be probably the most vicious thing that uh, Mr. Market could do. But in any case, you know, we the, the support held here uh, on the way when we came up. To, so resistance held and now support held. So we could kind of, this is our middle line. It actually lines up almost perfectly. So here's your top, here's your bottom, here's your middle line. So tomorrow, I, I'm not... I'm not really quite sure what's going to happen with the uh, initial jobless claims. I don't really think they're that that big of a market mover. Um, I was a little surprised today that the bulls continued to press higher for the one reason is, you know, Bernanke can't, uh, Bern, Jesus, this is the second time I said that today. Uh, Powell came out and is kind of sticking to his guns with, you know, the rate cuts that don't really expect them, but the, it just, it's getting ignored and, and that's it. It's, it's, uh, but I was a little surprised about that. I thought it, with the, the hawkish comments, maybe we'd get a little bit of a, you know, a, 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 a pullback or more than we had, but in any case, we're stuck within this, this channel. So not channel, we, but this in this range, the top is obviously going to be the 5130 or this gap right here. The bottom is going to be the uh, the 200 day moving average, which is where we hit the lows today at the 5092. If the bears can take it through it, then the next support level that we're going to be looking at is going to be this gap right here. And that's right around that 5080. If they lose that, then we're looking at the 5056. So these are really the, the pivots that we got to keep an eye on. There's no use uh, guessing. We, we had bullish divergences. This made sense. Uh, we, we don't really have any bearish divergences. Uh, so it, it's open for us coming up. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, when we look at the 60 minute chart here, 
you can see that, you know, we have these these bearish divergences. That was this move here. We don't have any bullish divergences. So it, it's a kind of what we're stuck in the middle. And, and I think that we really need to just see what plays out tomorrow. Uh, if, if this gets taken out, though, then, you know, we're most likely coming down to the 5,002. And that's the next uh, that's the, the gap here, as well as our, our 200 day moving average. So that's really about it now. Let's get back to some of the other things. Hang on one. Okay, so um, I've been bombarded with these calls that I, I've been putting out with this uh, credit spread. And I uh, today we had six calls. It, it went fantastic. It was a, they, were, they were really good calls. Everybody loved what we were doing. And I was showing them this is today's trade. And, and like I said, these aren't anything that we're really holding on to. But you want to find that, you know, the first thing you want to do is see the range that we're in. So I knew we were gapping up. I, I did not believe we were going to get above the 5160. I did not believe we were going to come down and take out the uh, the 5050. So the trade setup was fairly simple. We wanted to we wanted to sell uh, the calls up top and we wanted to sell the puts down below. We get our credit and the credit was uh, six dollars. So it's six eighty. This is the maximum that you could make. But you can see we got in these at 931, 1036. We're up $3,300. And I was like, I'm fine with this. I don't want to hold into going into if there's any big moves going on tomorrow because of the initial jobless games. And I definitely didn't want to hang on to them going into the non-farm payroll. So you take the 3300 close it, and we wait for tomorrow. We'll look for the range, set these trades up, and that's it. And the thing is, is that they don't really cost all that that much. I mean, the, the total amount that was needed in that particular trade was, uh, I believe, 6200 and uh but again you 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 can't do what, what i'm even training you guys could do here if you don't have an account that is uh a bare minimum twenty five thousand. and the main reason is uh really it's the rules that are out there because you can't day trade options in uh at basically every platform so if you were going to take these trades and you close this out you're going to get a warning from, uh, you know, Thinkorswim or Schwab saying you your account is under twenty five thousand dollars. You cannot day trade options. Do it again. Uh, you get a second warning, and the third is you get banned. So you have to have a bare minimum fifty thousand. Doesn't mean you we're going to be investing fifty thousand just to make these types of trades. You need it. So. Um, we basically, you know, what we're looking for are singles and doubles. We're not, you know, th today was a double, 3,300 an hour. I'll take that and, you know, go golfing. Uh, there, yesterday was, it was a swing and a miss. We put the trade out. It got stopped out within 35 minutes. And the main reason was I thought that this, we were going to see buyers here. So we set the trade up with basically this holding, but a little bit below and it went right through it. Our stop was in. We lost $200. That's that's the way this works. You're going to get stopped out. And it's not going. It's The way that I've been explaining this is out of five trades. We do five trades for the week on this type of trade. We may get three of them stopped out. And you lose $200. But you could get two of them that are making $3,000 and $2,000. So in the end of the week, you're doing pretty well with this. That's the way I explain it. I, I we're I'm fine with getting stopped out as long as our stop out is going to be very limited and that's the way we set up our stop loss i give the formula on it so it's been working out great uh, uh like i said we had i've had a bunch of calls we're getting pretty close to that number 10 marker where i'm going to you know pause it because i don't want to get overwhelmed with this with doing one-on-one -on -one training and stuff like that so we're getting there but the, i just wanted to give you a little explanation about how this works so let's see what plays out tomorrow have a fantastic night and i'll talk to you guys in the morning